Welcome to the channel. My name is Adin. I'm one half of Hustle & Hooks, alongside with my beautiful wife, Melinda. We run a small YouTube channel and a ever-growing resale business on primarily eBay. I'm making this short reaction video uh, just to briefly talk about Chris's suspension from eBay. And I just wanted to put in my two cents about it because what ends up happening with um, a, a large event in a small community of you know resellers and uh, content creators is that when something drastic like this happens, there's a lot of uh, speculation and overreaction, uh, name calling, um, chit chat, you know, nonsense, and most of it is just nonsensical. The reason why I'm making this video is to use this as an example, just like Chris did in his initial video, which I watched, and that's the only one I've watched. I haven't watched any other you know, content creators reaction video or um, thoughts on it. I didn't watch any of Chris's follow-up videos of what really happened and all that. And the reason is because I don't care. The question that I ask myself when something happens around me in my real world, my online world, or my state or my country or the world in general is how does this affect me personally in my 24 hours of existence every single day. So when something happens to another reseller, how does that affect me personally? The short answer is it doesn't. I use it as a learning experience. We literally learn everything we know about reselling from others, from people like Ryan and Allie from Rally Roots, like Chris from Daily Refinement, like John from Cincinnati Picker, so on and so forth. All of these people, we've learned from them over the last two and a half years to implement similar systems, to look for similar items, to make money, et cetera, et cetera. Those are the people we've learned from. Those are all human beings and they all will make mistakes just like we will. But at the end of the day, I look at the positivity of what happens and what ideas I can take from others and what systems and, and so on and so forth, right? That's what I look for. As an individual, as an entrepreneur, that's all I care about. The rest to me is hoopla. The drama doesn't matter. Someone being suspended for a day for a lifetime doesn't matter because it doesn't affect me. So now I want you, the viewer, to think about it that way. Instead of taking an ounce of energy to discuss on some negative you know, discussion board on Facebook or some group or Instagram or YouTube comments, instead of taking that time to speculate and put in your two cents and pass around the information and tell someone else about it and call people names, Instead of doing that, look at yourself in the mirror. Find a mirror. If you don't have one in your house, you can buy one at Walmart for a couple of dollars. Look at it. Look straight at it and say, how does this affect my life? And if it doesn't affect your life, then move on. All of these events will be washed away by the waves of time, right? Because eventually it's going to be irrelevant what happened to Chris. It's going to be irrelevant what happened to me. It's going to be irrelevant what happened to this person, that person. Stuff comes and goes, but what you need to focus on is yourself and some self-improvement. What you need to focus on is some self-reflection and figuring out how does this affect my life? And if it doesn't affect my life, how much of my time and energy am I going to pour into it? And then move on to what actually is going to help you long-term. Look at the mirror, look at your dietary habits, look at your exercising habits, look at your financial habits, look at your financial goals, look at your individual business accounts, look at your personal bank accounts, look at your family dyna dynamics, look at your health overall, look at your physical, your mental health, look at the relationships that you have with others. Those are the things that really matter. What happened to some guy on YouTube that ran a business and now is no longer running it doesn't matter to you because it doesn't affect you. The only people that it directly affects is the person, that person's staff, and that person's family. And if I know anything about Chris is that he's going to rebound from this and move on and figure something else out because he's a critical thinker. He knows how to navigate through situations and figure stuff out. So the only reason I'm making this very short video is to remind you that you need to pay attention to you and what's in here and what you're, you're doing to better your life because that's what matters. Everything else is a waste of time. It can be fun, right, to speculate, did this happen, did this happen, did that happen, who was wrong, who is right, will this happen? All that is fun, but that should be like 
a minute of your brain's activity and then move on from it because it's unhealthy to speculate. It's unhealthy to go back and forth on comments and forum boards, debating and discussing with people. It's unhealthy to negatively hold somebody else in your mind and call them bad names and talk about them in a negative way. It's all bad for you, so don't participate in it. It's not healthy for, for you. It's not going to change anything. He's not going to get reinstated by eBay. The people that are directly affected by it aren't, they don't care about what you think. He doesn't care about what you think. Nobody cares, right? So it's just a waste of your time. I was talking to my friend Adrian about this a little bit yesterday and, and this phrase came out and he said, look, I really generally want people to do well and I feel for those people who are hurting. That's the same attitude I have that, you know, this, this video is, is, is me and my thoughts, my feelings on, on this situation on life in general. I genuinely care about people who want to do well in life and I'm here to help when I can with simple questions, with, you know, a chat on the phone, whatever that means. And I generally feel for those people who are hurting. Everything else doesn't matter because the waves of time are just going to wash us away and it's just going to be yesterday's news. And yesterday's news didn't affect you at all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.